Go on. Strike me again. Strike again. <laughs> sir? What? Sir? What are you doing? <laughs> Team up with them. They stole a lot of our livestock. You cowards would surrender anyway. Like we team up with you. Every night when sleep has reached its greatest intensity, an old spider peeks its head from a hole at the corner of the room. She listens attentively and, once assured that silence reigns, withdraws her body from her nest. In time on my moose, they'll see you're not dangerous. They act as if I stink like shit. Because they're ignorant people. Do you remember those beetles in the field? They're afraid, just like you were. Hmm. <clears throat> you said earlier you didn't stink. Stop teasing, you suck at it. Oh. Well, somebody really stinks like a sty. Stinks like horse piss! That's you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll stink together. And she must be banished. Trotum is right. As one of the Dragon Clan, she must be punished accordingly. If we banish her, then we dishonor the chief's sacrifice. Elder Priest. You are now the leader. You decide. If it had depended on my will, I would rather have been the son of the shark, whose hunger is insatiable, or that of the tiger, whose cruelty is renowned. You can prove Kaelin killed a former officer. We can. Major Preisler saw it with his own eyes. We don't mind helping you, Shinko. Yes, yeah, Shinko. None of us landowners want Kaelin to build his settlement. But there's one thing that troubles me. The financial distribution you're suggesting. It's my land. My heath, so I get more. That's fair, no? It's not yours, Shinko. As you're well aware. Yeah, Shinko. If all succeeds, you'll get a tenth cunt. Just like us. You? <laughs> Offer me nothing good. Forget it. No deal. Mr. Dashinkel accepts your conditions. He just needs some sleep. We have a deal. <laughs> 